back to Halo Halo. I'm Kat Aniba with your daily dose of all things entertaining from Filipino to Asian entertainment, Hollywood news, and celebrity insights. Time now to get the inside scoop on Pacquiao's fight this past Saturday. And joining us today is EFG's Director of Celebrity Relations, Rembrandt Flores. Rembrandt, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's good to be back. <laughs> now, you were at the fight this past Saturday. Yes. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Well, uh, for those who didn't watch it, it was <laughs> one of the most exciting fights ever. Yeah. I've been, this is my, I think, fourth or fifth Pacquiao fight. Wow. And it was, it was basically nerve-wracking. Right? <laughs> 12 rounds, and at the end of the 12 rounds, a lot of us didn't know who was going to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it was by decision. Yeah, and there was so much controversy, right? There was a lot of controversy because, you know, each round, you know, it's dependent on Punches, yeah. direct punches, indirect punches, jabs, whatever. Mm -hmm. So it really went down to the actual stats. Now, I don't know much about boxing, so let's talk about the stats. <laughs> okay, so here in my hands are actually the actual stats uh -huh. of the fight. So, you know, you look at CompuBox, you can actually go to CompuBoxOnline.com to see the stats yourself, mm -hmm. but, you know, it clearly shows Pacquiao, total punches, 578 versus Marquez, 436. Uh, total punches connected, 176 for Pacquiao versus 138 Marquez. Jabs thrown, 304 for Pacquiao, 182 for Marquez. So clearly, all this, it's clear. <laughs> yeah. Now, when you read the stats, that yeah. Pacquiao won. But to the naked eye, for me or you, yeah. who, if you did watch, mm -hmm. and you're watching it, and you're watching the 12 rounds, it didn't seem like he was going to win. Yeah, that's right. But what he I heard. did based on obviously the numbers. Okay. Good to know. know right? Now, there were a lot of stars at the event. Yes, there were so many celebrities <laughs> at uh, the event. Jeremy Piven from mm -hmm. Entourage, Charles wow. Barkley, Mario Lopez, uh -huh. they were all there supporting, obviously, Pacquiao. Yeah, and also, of course, the Filipino stars, Rufa Gutierrez. Yes. Yeah. Rufa, her entire family, actually was with them uh -huh. pretty much the entire weekend. So, Rufa, her brother Elvis, uh, father, Uncle Eddie, <laughs> and her mother. Everyone was there, okay. pretty much. Yeah. And then you also have a picture of Jinky, right? Yes. <laughs> so the funny thing is that a lot of people were like, what's up with Jinky's hair? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, like, maybe that's why he lost. Oh, because gosh. Of, because of her hair. So, but uh, I'm sure you, you guys are seeing the photo right now, yeah. but I don't know what you guys think, but I don't think it's that bad. It's not that bad. Right? I mean, I heard rumors and then I see the picture, I'm like, okay, there was just, it's not that Please. bad. It's not that big a deal, right? <laughs> yeah, now there was also controversy personal-wise, right? Yes. Um, so talk there's, about that. Exactly. <laughs> so there's a lot of speculations. Mm -hmm of why Manny wasn't fully there, like he wasn't yeah, himself. Yeah. And so people in the Philippines and in America have all told me independently, like Manny's having problems at home. Mm -hmm. So there might be marital issues with, oh, with Jinky. And yeah. apparently I was reading and I also heard this, that uh, they actually got into a big fight just before just he went before, oh. into the ring. Ooh, where he good. even threw his cell phone <laughs> and was cursing and Jeez. and going crazy. And so. then he had a, a dinner Monday night, right, which he missed. Yeah, so I got invited to this dinner, the mm -hmm. Manny Pacquiao Foundation. It was mm -hmm. supposed to be a, a very, very small, exclusive 65-person dinner uh -huh. at uh, the Beverly Hilton, and he didn't show up. Wow, for his own But foundation. luckily, I found out before, yeah. so I didn't show up. But uh, yeah, for his own foundation, okay. and I think the excuse was that he was busy resting, uh -huh. so he wasn't able to drive out to L.A. that evening uh -huh. because he's still resting <laughs> after his fight on Saturday. You, know? you did go to the other dinner, which was last night, right? It was actually a victory party. Okay. So it wasn't a dinner per se, but it, it was, was a, a big party huh? at uh, L.A.'s Supper Club, mm -hmm. and uh, there was about 500 people there, oh, that's and good. everyone literally screaming, Manny, Manny, <laughs> taking photos. And, and we have photos that exactly, you took. Yes, exactly. thank so you so much. Exactly, so you'll see some much. of those photos. But also, he was supposed to be slated to sing. Mm. So we were all waiting Did for him sing? To, to sing and, and do his karaoke renditions of, of my he? way or, or whatever. <laughs> but he didn't. Oh. Yeah. And then my friend, Jenna Lee mm -hmm. Reyes, who is a singer and she's on that NBC show called The Sing Off. Yeah, the Sing Off. She was supposed to duet with him. Uh huh. And that didn't happen. So we're oh. like, uh, what happened? And she goes, 
oh, he just felt like last minute he didn't want to do it. He didn't it. want to do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the inside scoop. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. For more of Rembrandt, he'll actually be back in a couple of weeks to give us some more inside Hollywood scoop. But for now, check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash TV. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash And we will see you next week.